Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to fix an easy ground beef chili for your hot dogs, or you can put it on hamburgers, or but this is going to be for um, our hot dogs. And what I'm doing is I've got about two and a half pounds of ground beef here. Um, thought it was ground chuck that I got out of the freezer, but it was ground beef. So, um, I'm cooking that, and what I'm going to put in this, I'm going to cook this for a while, because I want this to all, um, be like, not real big clumps of ground beef, but, uh, little ones. So I'm putting in one can of Swanson 100% natural beef broth with the ground beef and then I'm going to I've got a half an onion here and I'm going to grate this onion in here I don't want big chunks of onions but I want the onion still the onion taste in here so I'm going to put grate it in here and Let me get that done and get it. I'll, I'm going to use this whole half of an onion. It's just a small onion, a half of a small onion, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I've got the onion grated in here, the half of a small onion, and I grated it in with the ground beef, and it's cooking in the... Um, beef broth and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in two tablespoons of chili powder whoops all right there's one and there's two All right, I'm gonna stir this up now. And with that, and this is probably gonna sound weird to a lot of you, but um, with that, I'm just gonna put a very, very small <laughs> dash, and you can see what how much I put in here of cinnamon that was just a very small dash of cinnamon and it wasn't very much at all just a pinch <laughs> a small little pinch all right and now I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of Hunt's 100% natural ketchup Three tablespoons of that. One, two, three. And I'm just gonna try to get all the ketchup off the measuring spoon. And now I'm just going to stir this up, and I am going to let this simmer until this beef broth boils down, and it's in little bitty pieces of ground beef, <laughs> like it, it's not even any in here yet that's little bitty, but not very big at all just like a hot dog chili i don't like big pieces of of chili like that i like the the little bitty pieces just like this right here so they're good it's i'm gonna let this cook and simmer probably for a good hour and let all of these um flavors mix in together oh and i've also got to put in um, some salt and some pepper 
I'll probably put in maybe a half a tablespoon of salt and a half a tablespoon of pepper. And when this gets ready and I get ready to put it on the hot dogs, I'll bring you back and let you see it. Okay, here's my homemade chili um, that's been cooking for about an hour now. And it's got right much grease in it, so I'm going to have to drain it. Um, but it is down to the texture that I want to see the little bitty pieces. It is down that texture that I wanted. And so I'm going to drain it, fix my hot dogs. And I've got to cook my hot dogs on my new wave, so I'm just going to put this over to the side, put the top on it. And I'll bring you back when my hot dogs get ready. Okay, I'm back. And I'm ready to fix my hot dog. I've got my coleslaw here. I've got my homemade chili. I've got my mayonnaise. I've got my onions. I've got my bun. And the hot dogs are right there on the new way of cooking. And I know y'all are going to think mayonnaise on a hot dog well see I really don't like mustard all that much I can eat a hot dog with mustard but I really like mayonnaise on my hot dogs and since these are with homemade chili and homemade coleslaw I'm gonna do it with mayonnaise on it the way that I like it alright let me get out one of the browner hot dogs. Alright, there's my hot dog. I have a certain way that I do this. The next, I'm going to put my onions on here. And I'm the only one that likes onions around here. Nobody else likes them. Unless they're cooked. And then they really, really don't like them that much. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to put my chili on there, and I've drained this, so I'm going to go all the way across with my chili, and I've tasted this chili, and it is amazing, and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my coleslaw on here, here's my coleslaw. And you're thinking, coleslaw on a hot dog? Well, coleslaw on a hot dog is good. And this coleslaw is also good on barbecues. This is what I used on my barbecue when I did the pork the other night. Drop some. Mm, mm -mm. All right, now I got to take a bite of this, huh? Look at that hot dog. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That is the best hot dog. Mm. The chili. Mm. That little bitty pinch of cinnamon gives it the most awesome taste. And the sweetness of the coleslaw on top of it. Oh my gosh. So, this is the ending for both my coleslaw recipe and my chili recipe. And there's my hot dog. Mm -mm -mm. That is the best. So, if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to um, be a part of my Facebook group, you can go to www.facebook.com forward slash food prepping. And food prepping is one word, F-O-O-D-P-R-E-P-P-I-N-G. And you have a wonderful night, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.